hello students welcome back in the last session we have discussed uh, syllabus of advanced java programming in uh, today's session we will start with uh, the first unit of advanced java programming in that we will study event and event sources event handling it is at the core of uh, any gui program in the last semester we have studied the core java that is java programming where we have studied uh, the cui program that is command user interface program where no events were generated or handled so user interacts with the program only by passing commands uh, but at the end of uh, the syllabus we have also studied some gui programs if you remember the applet program the student applet program in particular we have studied where user interacts directly with the gui by using a mouse in cui programs we use only the keyboard but in gui program we can use a mouse to interact with the program a gui program consists of many gui components like a text field a button a drop down and so many other components and we can interact with those components by using a mouse i can click on a button upon clicking we can perform certain activities we can perform certain actions so that that is possible in gui programs okay and even it is the main thing that needs to be handled in gui program and we cannot imagine a gui program without event and event handling so what is an event so in simple words an event it is an action that causes something to happen so in simple words you can define an event as a action i am clicking on a button it is an action if timer times out it is an action so that action leads to uh, some something to happen so okay so let's start with event and event sources okay, event uh, describes the change in so event simply describes the change in the state of any object uh, for example when i press a button entering a character in the text box an event is generated clicking or dragging it is generated only moving the mouse if i am moving a mouse here even moving the mouse generates an event then in the delegation model we will study about an event uh, it is an object uh, that describes state change it is uh, like the first statement itself state change. event can be generated as a consequence of a person interacting with the elements interacts with the gui again uh, event may also be generated where time times out and an event is generated where there is no user interaction but most of the most of the time the event is generated when user interacts with the gui or the gui components this diagram below explains how it handled or what happens when the event is generated now you can see uh, first step that is on the button you can see a button over here when you click on the event is generated an event or event object is created or event object. generation a piece of code is executed as of an event which has happened so a piece of code is executed when the event occurs this 
is updated modified in some way as a result the gui might be modified in response of that event so whenever an event occurs some piece of code is executed and the gui may also be modified for example uh, you might have seen uh, the gui components in many gui applications which looks whenever you user clicks on the check box you might have seen a check arrow or so whenever user clicks on the check box that check sign appears the event occurred and as a consequence of that event the gui is updated yes. and when you click the gui changes or the appearance changes so whenever an event gui is modified in some way okay so this is about an event and as i have said event it is at the code of gui programs next about event source an event source a source is an object that generates an object that generates which are the object that generates event in gui application can you name few objects which generates events you can we have studied a gui application last time where we have used text fields buttons and other components you can see in the diagram below also, we have some gui components we have labels and group box and other components most of the components and these components can be termed as sources like here we have a text field text field generates events text field generates different mouse event so this is a source generates event so text field is a source button is a source there are other components like list box and a uh, drop down box all these all the gui components which generates event are said to be sources it more than one type of event a single source yes it may generate more than one type of event uh, you can when you click on a button it generates uh, the action event when you take a mouse the mouse event or mouse motion event so a single source may generate different event even in case of text fields when you type something the text field it's a key event when you take a mouse on it it generates a mouse motion or mouse events so a single source may generate different types of events a source must be or must register listeners receive notifications about specific type of events so to handle the events which are generated by a source you have to register a particular listener with the sources so every source needs to register a listener for example suppose on clicking of this add button we want to perform something here a event which we want to handle as i have said when i click on the add button it generates an action event so i need to register this button then only whenever i click on the button the listener which is registered is automatically called and has its own registration method 
event has its own registration or every event has to be registered separately. As, a, as they have seen a source may generate many different types of event and if you want to handle all the all the events generated by the source all the events needs to be handled by using a separate registration for each of the event. There is not a single registration for all the events. We have to register every event separately. The general form of event registration one event can be registered with a source. For that we have to use a method signature is public void add type a listener. So type if I want to handle an action event then it has to be add action listener. Okay. Document that is a listener object. Type listener object and here el is a reference to the event listener object when the event occurs. So we have to send an object there which has to be notified when the event occurs and that object may contain some code which has to be executed in response of the event. Okay, so this is a general form remember this important we will be using this form in the subsequent sections. Okay, uh, a source must also provide a method as we can register an event, there has to be a way to make void remove type list. The reference only is in the name remove type list that's it okay for example uh, the method that registers listener or keyboard event listener that can be registered by using a method and there was add type listener now the type is replaced by a particular event which we want to handle here the key event, so it is add key, there's a mouse motion listener, suppose mouse motion, I am moving a mouse, that causes a motion, if you want to handle that, means upon, you can register that event by using add mouse motion listener, there is a method add mouse motion listener, okay, for an event with a source as well. Multicasting the events, all the registered listeners are notified. When the event occurs, all the registered listeners, is the reason the registration is important. If you do not register an event, in that case, it, the event will not be notified to the listener. So we have to register a listener to get the notifications about the event. Okay, uh, that's it uh, in today's session. We will stop here. We have studied about event and event sources. We have also studied uh, how an uh, event can be registered with the event source. Even unregistering an event with the event source, we have studied in today's session. So, we will stop here. Thank you.